Every young person, lift your hand. I stop by to tell you that if you are obedient to the word of God, do you, oh, hallelujah. See, I once was young, but now I'm old. But I never seen the righteous forsaken. No, it's seed begging bread. Come on, lift up your hands and say, Lord, bless me. Come on, say, Lord, even me, even me. Lord, bless me. Anybody believe God will bless you? Lord, bless me. I believe in that if you do right by God, I was always told, pay your tithes and your offering. But I did more than pay my tithes and my offering. I went to prayer service. I received the Holy Ghost. I was obedient to my pastor. I honored my leadership. I did right by everybody I could. And when I messed up, I got right. That's the most important part. Lord, slap your neighbor's hand and say, I'm glad that he waited on me. You didn't wait on me. Some of y'all left me. But God, he waited to have for me and when I got there the Lord said to Barnabas what would you have me to do you can ask God for what do you want God, I feel it say neighbor when you finally get to Jesus don't nickel and dime it ask him for what you want as a matter of fact ask him for more than enough and he can do exceeding abundantly above all that you ask or think And uh, uh, hallelujah. Uh, and so he has uh, uh, the ability to stand still uh, uh, and wait until you come uh, uh, and then give you uh, uh, what you want. Uh, uh, the point here is when you call him, uh, uh, he will hear you uh, uh, and he will transfer uh, uh, power into your life. Uh, uh, the same man uh, uh, that came blind, uh, uh, he left singing. Uh, uh, the same person person that came to church today, discouraged, is going to leave with hope. The same one that came in here, burdened down with the cares of life, is going to leave here knowing the Lord will make a way somehow. I need somebody to lift up your hands, stand up on your feet, and say, Lord, I've received my transfer I receive my spiritual endowment God. Oh Jesus I thank you you may be seated I got a little way to go here Help me, Holy Ghost. And there's another story. A story about a man named Joseph. It's about someone. And praise God, Minister Savage gave me something to think about this morning. But it's about a, a young man that was unique. He was peculiar. And he was chosen with a purpose that was bigger than where he was. Y'all got to talk to your neighbor and say, neighbor, your purpose is bigger than where you are. Honey, you might be eating hot dogs today, but I stop by to let you know your days of steak are right around the corner. As a matter of fact, I posted on Facebook that we are in a seat of elevation God is about to take us to another level say yes Lord and so it is that Joseph had a bigger purpose than where he was it lets us know that in his youth his father gave him a coat of many colors and the coat 
of many colors was simply prophetic. When you look at the coat of many colors, I could imagine that it had the color of purple, which represents royalty. It had the color of scarlet that represented the blood. It had the color of white that represented purity. It had the color of blue that represented the place where God is. It had the color of gold that represented the riches and the wealth of God. Look at your neighbor and say you got a coat on and it represents not where you are but where you're going. I feel it right there. We have got to begin to speak power and wealth over our children. Not only that, if you ain't got no kids, lay your hands on yourself and say power and wealth is on your head. Oh, praise the Lord. We got to speak those things that be not as though as though as though they were hallelujah we have got to understand the word as it says in Hebrews chapter number 11 and verse number 1 now faith is the substance of things is there anybody that needs some things y'all lying if you say no we all need something oh yes we need some things now faith is the substance of things hope for but the evidence of things not seen my brothers and sisters I don't want to be rich I want to be wealthy I don't want to just have strength I want power in the name of Jesus you can be rich and still be discouraged still be out of touch with God but when God makes you wealthy it starts in a heart I want more joy I want more peace I want more love I want understanding I want the ability to love everybody and treat everybody right and the answer I want some money I want that thing that folds and not jingle I want some money not so that I can go buy another I ate I can work for that but bless me to be a blessing I want to bless some of the young folks to go to college I want to bless some of the young couple to get a house I want to bless somebody sick to have the money to pay their medical bills bless me I want wealth Now let me share this. To get wealth, there is a cost. Joseph was broke. Joseph was broken. Yet, the promise of God was on his life before he ever got power and wealth. I need you to say neighbor. You don't see it yet, but it's coming. Y'all not talking to nobody. Maybe you need to find another neighbor. Say, neighbor, you don't see it yet, 
but it's coming. Y'all got to get up and find somebody that's on the other side. We we need to get active with this one. Say, you don't see it yet, but it's coming. You don't see it yet, but it's coming. It's coming. Everything you pray for, everything you ask for, it's coming. From the east to the west, from the south to the north, it's coming. <laughs>